that was about to change. One morning, before Chanticleer was even awake, hey, Chanticleer. a stranger snuck onto our farm to stop Chanticleer from growing. Of course, Chanticleer wouldn't give up without a fight. But what he didn't know was that this stranger had been sent by the Grand Duke of Owls. Nasty fella. The good news here was that Chanticleer had won the fight. The bad news was the Grand Duke's bully had done his dirty deed. For in all the commotion, Chanticleer had plumb forgot to crow. And the sun was coming up without him. When Chanticleer saw this, it broke his heart. He reckoned maybe his crow never did raise the sun. Look, it's coming up without him. He's a fake. Hey, everybody, cock a doodle doo. <laughs> the Grand Duke's evil plan had worked. He had turned us against our very best friend. And without a reason to crow, poor Chanticleer left the farm to look for work in the city. Then came the rain and our troubles with the Duke. Who's that, Mom? That's the Grand Duke. He's the one who's causing all the trouble. He sent that mean old rooster to Chanticleer's farm to pick a fight. Hmm, how come? Because he didn't like Chanticleer doing all that crowing and bringing up the sun. How come? <laughs> well, like most owls, he likes the darkness and the rain. I'm not afraid of the dark. <gasps> oh, it's you. You scared me. Dory, we've got big problems. Have you looked out there? If that rain doesn't stop, <laughs> you're all gonna go floating down the This is my favorite part of the story. His name is Edmund. Of course, he didn't look quite like this when I first met him. Anyhow, we weren't the only folks having our troubles. Poor Edmund's family was having their share, too. The river's rising too fast. We've got to reinforce the sandbags. Oh, you think that'll work? We'll make it work. I'll get the boys. Me, too. You stop right there. Oh, Mom, I'm one of the boys. He meant the big boys. I'm big enough. Not yet you're not, darling. The U.S. Weather Bureau is expecting yet another night of downpour in the area's worst hit by this week's flooding. Scott, Mark, in a special on, statement the from earlier to the this front. evening, Governor Dale declared a state of national emergency. Come on, guys, moving. I need some help. we got to get the animals inside. So while Scott and Mark got to help protect the house against the flood, poor Edmund was left behind where he'd be safe and out of trouble. It's my house, too. I want to help. Well, then pray for the rain to stop, and that will help. Sorry, I can't find the flashlight. Coming. Now, you stay here where it's safe, Pumpkin. I'm gonna help your father, and I'll be right back. Come Dad. Great, let's go. Hey, Dad, they said on the radio the National Guard might come. I am two of the big boys. And without a reason to crow, Chanticleer left the farm. Then came the rain. <laughs> Edmund had the right idea to call for Chanticleer, but he never could have guessed who was going to answer. <laughs>